Good morning, this is Luke Thomas, home quiz here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 7.27 in the morning, Thursday, March 31st, 2022, 7.27 Thursday, March 31st, 2022, and we have uh, uh, two earthquake warnings, one for uh, the area near Tokyo and the other down near uh, Los Angeles. Let's take a look at the... Uh, California situation right now. Our last video, we had uh, this risk growing in the San Francisco Bay Area. And then we got a 4.0 just east of San Francisco area, uh, right here in the Mammoth Lakes, which is east of San Francisco Bay, right out in here. And then the, uh, so, then the risk is now shifting to the south near uh, Los Angeles. That risk is very high in the San Francisco Bay, so the risk is not diminished in that area. It's just increased even more down here northwest of Los Angeles. So the risk is still high in the San Francisco Bay, actually across all of California. Uh, but uh, in the San Francisco Bay, the risk is very high, but then the risk gets even higher Northwest of Los Angeles, uh, from like Coalinga Parkfield area down to Bakersfield and uh, Los Angeles uh, during this next forecast period. So uh, we have a warning for the, this is uh, this dark red area here, is uh, where a 6.0 earthquake is likely during the next 48 hours. And here's another forecast model, pretty much the same area there. Northwest of Los Angeles, uh, from Parkfield, Coalinga down to uh, Santa Barbara in Los Angeles. And this shows it uh, extending all the way down to San Diego and up to Ridgecrest. So that whole area, uh, 6.0 earthquake is likely during the next uh, 48 hours or so. Most likely to hit on the, uh, the first or the second, but we could, uh, it could hit any time between now and then. This forecast is the 31st through the 3rd, but most likely hit to hit uh, the April 1st or April 2nd. But like I said, it could hit today on the 31st. Over in uh, Japan, we had a warning for this area right here near Tokyo, and the risk still remains extremely high in that area. And still thinking we're gonna get something more, but we just got a 4.7. Uh, according to the USGS, it was a 4.8. Right there in the Tokyo area, you can see that right here, right in the Tokyo area, uh, 4.7 according to Japan, 4.8 according to uh, the USGS, right there near Tokyo. And that's where our warning area is, right near Tokyo there. But still expecting something much larger in that area because the, uh, the magnetic differential is extremely high still there and building. So uh, expecting a 6.2 earthquake in that area Near Tokyo, could it be offshore, but near Tokyo there uh, during the next 12 hours or so. Alaska, southwest of Alaska there, we could get a uh, 4.0 to 4.5. But on the April 1st to the 3rd, there's a much larger area near, just near uh, Kodiak Island and southwest of Anchorage. And that could produce a 5.0 earthquake near uh, Anchorage there, southwest of Anchorage. Italy, we could get a 4.5 in this area near, near uh, Sicily, Italy, during this forecast period between now and April 2nd. And uh, Greece, uh, southwestern Greece, just southwest of Athens, this area down here, could get a 5.0 earthquake between now and April 3rd. So between now, April 1st and April 3rd, a possible 5.0 earthquake or larger in the area in southwestern Greece. That's very high risk in that area. So once again, a quick review. We did get this 4.0 earthquake in uh, east central California, kind of up here east of the San Francisco Bay. Risk is very high across all of California. 6.0 earthquake is likely uh, during the next 48 hours across California. Uh, the two highest risk areas are the area near San Francisco here uh, early on, and then much higher here 
near uh, the risk is higher than in San Francisco Bay down near northwest of Los Angeles. During the next 48 hours, here's a different forecast model, same area. Uh, looking for a 6.0 earthquake uh, in the area from Los Angeles to Ridgecrest to Parkfield in that area during the next uh, 48 hours. And then again, we did get that uh, 4.8 uh, near Tokyo, but still expecting something much larger in that area during the next 12 hours. Alaska, we could get a 5.0 southwest of Anchorage and Italy, 4.5 possible near Sicily, 5.0 possible southwestern Greece. So stay safe there in uh, California. Most uh, highest risk area again is in uh, southwestern California, northwest of Los Angeles, where a uh, 6.0 earthquake is likely. And uh, stay safe, everybody. Still expecting something more in the Japan area as well. Stay safe there in California. Strong earthquake is likely during the next 48 hours in California. Thanks so much for your support, everybody. Uh, 219,000 followers now, 219,000 followers uh, on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And we have uh, 17 years of research, the earthquakeprediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. And we'll get back to you very soon, uh, especially when that large earthquake hits in uh, California. We'll give you updates on that as well. Thank you. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.